If my mother were here today, she would tell you two things about me. She would instantly tell you that I had pneumonia as a child. And uh, she would tell you that I'm in the right profession since I talk for a living because all I did was talk, 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 talk. <laughs> One of my earliest memories of my mom is her graduating from graduate school, getting her master's degree. I was just a kid when she did that, and right in that moment, I knew that I was going to go to college. I love that my parents balanced what we did in the classroom with what we absorbed in the world. Um, we traveled a lot. Every um, summer, we'd go to a place called Jekyll Island. Um, down off the coast of Southeast Georgia. And, you know, we stay at the Sand Dollar Motel. <laughs> and we collect, you know, sand dollars on, on, the, on the beach. With journalism, especially in news, it's almost an everyday occurrence that you'll run into a story that just tugs at your heartstrings. When I lived and worked in Houston, Texas, for example, I was the weekend morning anchor. It never failed on a Saturday morning you had to cover the death of someone from Friday night. And so it meant going and knocking on people's doors and invading their privacy and their grieving to convince them to talk about this tragedy. And I just remember sitting there with families and with one family in particular and just crying um, with them as they talked about their loved one. You know, we weren't on camera at the time, but it was just, I was just so stricken with grief myself. It's hard, it's, it's hard to do your job in that environment on a regular basis and keep your humanity intact, not to become so um, tough on your exterior that you don't feel these things, but in a way you have to toughen up in order to cover it. At its highest purpose, I hope that my work motivates people to be better, to live better, to feel better. You know, I try to put information out there. I try to find people and stories that will impact other people's lives. So by hearing this story or hearing about this issue or hearing about this person will move people, and that's what I aim to do.